Well, uh, hi everybody. I thought I'd just show you some, well, a couple of the quick uh, security hacks that we're doing while we're sort of waiting for things to arrive that we've ordered, deciding on other things, and um, just really to stop people coming in um, while we're in the van. So, um, the, <clears throat> the first thing was to secure the cab doors and I've done that and a lot of people have recommended that uh, we go for a chain or a strap uh, between the two doors and that's exactly what we have done it does make it a bit more difficult to turn the chairs around we'll just move Wendy's um, crochet bag there so this is this is the cab area and just here we've got this um, luggage or cargo tie ratchet strap it's um, sort of webbing material so very very strong and it goes around well I don't think you can see it there um, uh, lights yeah so it goes around the uh, door pull and then joins together in the middle and goes around the other one so the the thing is that it's actually joins the two doors together so and I've tested this I haven't pulled too hard um, but if you open the door try and open the door from the outside it just doesn't it comes open like that much and the strap just stops it coming open which I think is a <clears throat> is a very good thing because that that means that even if somebody does sort of you know in the meantime even with the key open the door they can't actually physically open the door if they unlock it they can't open it the other the other thing, and I know, you know, the thing about security <clears throat> in what is essentially a plastic box is it's a bit of a it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's you know it's got plastic windows, and if somebody really wants to get in, they can, of course, because all caravans and motorhomes have plastic windows, glass windows on the cab. So they're easily smashable and easily breakable and, you know, people can get in. But what you want to do is you, you want to make your motorhome or caravan more difficult than anybody else's. And that's the thing. So if they try the doors and they don't open, they're going to move on. They're not going to try harder because it's, you know usually it's opportunistic thieves who are just wandering around seeing an e seeing the easy pickings if you like and the other thing um, is the habitation door the habitation door um, handle they're they're pretty much always like this with this uh, well certainly on all the motorhomes or on the coach built ones I've seen and they have like I've been told that the the locks on the outside are easy to screwdriver and, and really get open, but you want to stop people opening the door. So I've got, this is a, this is a torch, I've had this for ages. It's made of metal and it, um, it's an AP Pro series. It's, it's a 210 lumen um, LED torch, seriously bright. But that's not the point. Um, what it does, it fits neatly through that handle and up against the other door frame, like so. And then that is like you cannot, you you literally cannot open the door because it's it's levering against itself. So that is the little um, couple of security hacks that we've done um, 
And that really is from the uh, recommendations from all of you guys out there who have been commenting on the previous videos. And <laughs> the, other, the other thing, um, the other thing I'm really amazed at is the popularity of uh, those two sort of security videos, which have been, well, they've, um, <laughs> they've outperformed <laughs> the, all the other videos that we've done by a factor of three. So in, in a day, usually our videos get about 1,000 to 1,200 or 800 to 1,300 views. Um, the first um, being broken into video has now had 3,600 in two or three days and the other videos had over 3,000 videos in two days. So um, it seems like security is very popular. So we might do um, a few more once we, once we know what we're actually going to do and all the different options. Uh, we'll give you a bit more information on those things. But anyway, that's it for this little um, security update. We're all safe and sound uh, where we are. So hope you enjoyed that little tour around and seeing what we've done. Um, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.